Hello, today I'm going to show you how to move your sprite using arrow keys on your keyboard. So click on events and choose when key pressed, we're going to choose right arrow. So when we press right arrow, we are going to move the sprite to the right. So if you want to move sprite left or right, we are going to choose X value. So we go to motion and we're going to change X by 10. Okay, if, if we want the sprite to go left, so when left arrow key pressed, we're going to change X value by minus 10. So the sprite's going to move to the left. So if we test, we can see that the sprite is moving left and right. Okay, we want to add up arrow. So when up arrow key pressed, we're going to move the sprite upwards. So if we want the sprite to move up and down, we are going to change the Y value. So go to motion and choose change Y by 10. And then we have to add when down arrow key pressed, we're going to change Y value by minus 10. Okay, so now our sprite is moving in all direction if we press arrow keys on our keyboard. Okay, now you notice that when I, I'm pressing arrow keys, before the sprite changes direction, there is a small delay. Also, I notice if I press two keys at once, I have to press them all the time if I want the sprite to go diagonally. So this is not the smoothest way to move our sprite across the screen. So we're going to do it another way. I'm going to add another sprite. Let's say we add flying cat. And we're going to do this differently. So I'm going to choose when green flag is clicked. And I'm going to repeat this code forever. And I'm, then I'm going to ask myself if right key right arrow key is pressed, I'm going to move the sprite to the right. So go to sensing and there is key space pressed, but we want right arrow to be pressed. So if key right arrow is pressed, then we're going to move sprite to the right. So again, change X position by 10. Then we can duplicate this if loop. If key left arrow pressed, then we're going to change X value by minus 10. Okay, then I'm going to duplicate this section again, and I'm going to choose up arrow is pressed. And now we're not going to change X value, but we're going to change Y value by 10. Again, duplicate if. If we press down arrow, then we're going to change Y by minus 10. Okay, and now if I press arrow keys, we can see that flying cat is going around the screen more smoothly. There is no delay by pressing different keys. And also if I press two keys at once, I can see that the cat is flying diagonally. Okay, you can notice how much more space I can cover on the screen with this flying cat and this set of code. So if I use forever loop and this if loops, then our sprite is moving more smoothly than if I use code when key is pressed. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.